Yo, what up guys? Kev here. And this is gonna be a quick unboxing for me. Might actually keep it quick. I got the Devo Knives Stout. Got that Lynch Northwest clip. Got that tape gunk all over that motherfucker. Um, shout out to everybody who picked up a stout. Thank you very much. We very much appreciate the support. If you guys have any questions or need anything about your stouts, hit me up. Hit us up. We're happy to help. This is from Sharp by Design. This is the uh, Apex. This is the Apex I ordered uh, like a year ago, I think, at this point. And um, I don't know. I don't have high hopes for it. I just have a feeling the aluminum is going to bug me. It feels heavy. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. There it is. It looks better in part. Damn it. It is kind of heavy, honestly. Um, which is odd because it has like speed holes. Put that back. Size comparison. Yeah. Uh, literally about the same size as the stout. I bet you it has more blade length because he kills it on that. Uh, I got the flipper version with a Tanto. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. That's sexy, though. Oh, I might be wrong about the aluminum. It actually looks good. Fucking, fucking Brian Nadeau killing it. That is kind of weird with the hole there, though. It's weird how it, maybe the stout's just light. All right, moment of truth. Great flick right-handed, but left-handed motherfucker sorry you gotta be fucking shitting me man it even has a basically a bolster lock but oh you have to be low on it I thought that would be the problem I spent $350 assuming this would happen it's actually a sick fucking knife too hollow grind with a compound grind, look at that. Action's good, I mean, skiffs would tune it up. Oh, look at that. Uh, the detent's perfect, flipper tab is actually really good on this one, it's not pokey, they knocked that corner down really good. Fuck, pissed off now. Dead centered, oh, it feels good right hand. I mean, it's not the best flick, it's a little, yeah, it's pretty fucking good. I'm used to the stout right now. I just can't flick it. I got to go all the way down here. And another thing that bugs me is the clip location. All the way over here. And it's still got the poke at the bottom. So, really cool knife. But I think uh, it's probably going to get sold real fast. Just because it doesn't work left-handed. It is freaking nice, though. God damn it. All right. That's your unboxing. Sorry for all the cursing. I'm just pissed off. I waited a year and I can't use it left-handed as usual um which is why i started designing my own knives because this works really well left-handed because the bolster lock the bolster covers the lock here you have a sort of bolster lock but the frame lock is exposed right here which is what i thought would be the problem so you end up putting pressure on it um, but it looks sick dude i mean just look at it it's such a fire design i mean he he kills it you know what i mean um I like the stout, but this is a fucking good looking knife. You know what I mean? Damn, man. It flips well left handed, that's sh for sure, but I'm not here for the flips. I'm here for the flicks. Fucking sucks. All right, there it is. Sharp by Design Apex. Fantastic knife design. He actually did a great job with the uh, aluminum. It does look good, it looks shitty in pictures. You have this ridging back here, and the knife does seem kind of fat, but I think it's just fat down here. It's kind of slim up there. In hand, yeah, it's comfortable in hand. You do have a lot of holes and shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. This probably wouldn't ultimately be for me, even if it did work left-handed, but I'd be much more likely to be into it. Um, that's okay. I have the Mini Tempest. I love the Mini Tempest, so... All right, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.